Dennis also told me that Ricky's dark past has come back to bite him. What are you talking about? Well, I don't know anything else about Ricky's past, but I'll talk to him about it. Before I moved to Animals Lane, I was kidnapped by James and I was held captive for two months. So you were saying that you've been kidnapped by James for months? I then had enough of being kidnapped and I knocked James and his henchmen out with a karate kick and broke free out of their clutches. Excuse me Mr. Finley, we'd like a word. Um, uh, hi, what brings you here? Did I do something wrong? I would like you to come down to the police department. We would want to question you over the suspicion of burning down James Coldwell's house. If the court agrees to convict you of the crime you committed, you would be sentenced to eight years of it. No, 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 you got this wrong. The only person who I want to see in prison is Howard Skalski. So you're saying you are framing Howard over burning down James's house? Yes, absolutely. I do believe that Howard was the one to burn down James's house because of a disagreement, so that's why he needs to be locked up. But there was no evidence that Howard committed that crime due to a disagreement. But there is. He's been plotting to burn down James's house since a week ago because he disagreed with James to recapture me. I mean, just listen to the audio file I recorded. How many times do I have to tell you this? We are not sending Ricky bad to where he suffers. Why not? I thought you said you would agree, so why do you have to disagree with me anyway? Just stop your whining and let us just get- Now you listen to me. We have to recapture Ricky, and if we don't, I'll burn your house down and kill you. And don't you dare disagree with me again. So now that you listened to it, I hope you understood that Howard is a crazy psycho. In that case, We'll try to find Howard and arrest him for the crime he committed. You are good to leave. What do you want now Mia? Can't you understand that I can't see anyone at the moment? Listen, it's very serious. Have you been stalking me lately? I beg your pardon? I asked you a question. You've been stalking me haven't you? Mia, listen. I did not stalk you. I had nothing to do with- Liar! You've been secretly following me everywhere I go, and you keep threatening me over and over again. I mean, why do you have to do this to me anyway? Look, can't we at least just stop talking about- No! I want to know exactly what you're doing to me, and you better give me one good reason why I shouldn't call the police. Alright, look. I'm sorry. I was way out of line. Yeah, you were. You hit me, fired Richard which prompted him to leave, and you have once tried to threaten me. Everybody in this hospital thinks you're a hypocrite. Say that word again, and you're a dead woman. Now come on. Get out. Get out or I will do something I regret. So where have you been all night? I was worried sick about you. What? Did you really think I was missing? Alright. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Anyway, I went to talk to the main doctor of the Los Golem Central Hospital about O.N.'s behavior. He said he is willing to replace him as the CEO as long as O.N. doesn't overcome his old ways. So what happens after O.N. gets removed from his CEO leadership? Well I don't know, but it is certain that O.N. will still work at the Heart Center Hospital. Or... At least for the time being, the Minecraft and Ministry of Health will decide whether to sack Owen from the hospital for good. If Owen gets sacked, at least we don't have to worry about him. He's a crazy punk. Exactly. But let's just stop talking about Owen and talk about something else. Tomorrow is our wedding and we're gonna invite everyone, including Mia and Oliver, to the wedding. But what will your wedding dress look like? We'll see. But right now though... Let's go to bed. We will have a big day ahead of us tomorrow. Just present some amazing adventures. Among this week's is President's movie cinema is the 2006 film President. <laughs> <laughs> That was so funny. Yeah, I don't know who was that guy, 
but it was still pretty funny. Oh, hi Ricky. Come watch cartoons with us. Actually, I'm not really in the mood of watching cartoons right now. I have to tell you guys something. What's wrong? Are you still dealing with the aftermath of James's death? I guess so. I had to go to the police department and told them that Howard burned down James's house. What? You framed Howard over the fire? I mean, what were you thinking? Look, I'm sorry. This was the only way to avoid getting arrested. Besides, if I was responsible, I would be locked up in jail for years. Ricky, listen. Howard had nothing to do with burning down James's house. He did. I showed the police an audio file I recorded, which proves the backstory of how Howard burned down James's house. But what would Howard say about this? Will he respond by provocating us? As if Howard's gonna be locked up in prison just for sure. And if he threatens us, I'll deal with him. I don't know about you, Fred, but does the beetroot soup still taste good? Well, I'm not sure, but you can try it out for yourself. Jake said he has trouble starting up the oven because it won't work, but it did eventually. Wow, this soup doesn't taste that bad. It's still good. Well, thank goodness for that. At least I'm relieved it wasn't poisonous or we have to recall it. Morning. Are you guys doing alright? Yeah, as usual. I just had to test a beetroot soup because of a food poisoning concern, but fortunately it wasn't poisonous. Well I'm sorry about that concern. I was trying to start up the oven while I was cooking that soup, but fortunately I managed to resolve this problem. Good for you. Anyway guys, would you like to try out some beetroot soup? It's still tasty. Yes, please. Here you go then. Enjoy the meal. Thank you. I don't know about you Ashley, but is it okay for a Rain and Sally to get married during a time like this? Yes, of course. No matter how serious this Owen debacle can be, we can still see Geraint and Sally as a happy couple. Exactly. Are you guys excited about this? We sure are. We don't know what Sally's wedding dress will look like. But I'm still excited anyway. Too bad Owen isn't invited. He's a control freak and we don't want him to crash the wedding or something. Alright Sally, the wedding guests have arrived. Please head outside so the wedding could start. Sally? Oh, sorry, I just got distracted. Anyway I'm coming. Here comes the bride. Welcome, loved ones. We are gathered here today to join Geraint Horton and Sally Flores in holy matrimony. It is wonderful to have family and friends here to join us today. The groom and bride would like to thank their guests for being here, and would like you to know that each of you were invited here on this day because you have played an integral part in their intertwining lives. Do you, Geraint Horton, take this woman, Sally Flores, to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. And do you, Sally Flores, take this man, Geraint Horton, to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. Very well. By the authority vested in me by the town of Castle Bush, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Horton. This is all too beautiful. Somebody passed me the tissue. Oh, it's okay Lucas. I understand everyone cries at wedding. I know we would do it Geraint, I'm so happy. So am I. I mean, how can you do it Ricky? Why did you frame Howard over the fire? I mean, are you insane? Listen, I had to get away from my arrest. So that's why I had to take the blame on Howard. He's the man I know who burned down the house where James lived. 
That's ridiculous. It's not ridiculous, Paul. It's the truth. James disagreed to recapture me and Howard threatened to burn his house to the ground if he doesn't agree with him. And I showed the police an audio file I recorded to prove it. I mean, wow, we just don't understand. Where exactly did you record that file? I don't know. Possibly at James's lair or somewhere else. I secretly sneaked there and recorded the file while he and Howard weren't knowing about what I did. I swear, if Howard finds out about this, we would be in a whole lot of trouble because of you. I'm pretty sure he won't find out about this because the police are out looking for him, and they should better arrest him for this. What are you staring at? Ever since I got out of James A's clutches, I tried to live a normal life, but I'm still under threat because of Howard, and I want to kill- Ricky no, I can't let you do this again. You knocked James off the church roof and we can't let you do something similar. So what? Howard is a gangster and I'm gonna teach him a lesson for threatening me. You, and my other friends, and he's gonna get exactly what's coming to him, period. Oh, it's only you. Where are Marceline and Jake? They are away eating at Bubblegum's Cafe, or they're probably hanging out at your house. I just came here to eat for lunch. Yeah, but how are we supposed to eat since Jake and Marceline aren't here? I'll serve myself. I stopped working at the waterfall when I joined the police department, so I know exactly how to deal with it. Hi guys. Any idea where Marceline and Jake are? Perhaps they're away at my house having a friendly conversation. Oh. In that case, I'll serve lunch for you. Good. I'm starving. So am I. Alright, take a seat and tell me what you want. Would you like some bacon pancakes? Yes, of course. Okay, coming right up. Congratulations, Arrange and Sally. I'm so proud of you too. Thanks, Mia. It was about time for me and Geraint to finally tie the knot. Exactly. This is exactly what we wanted to do for so long, but now it finally happened. So what happens now? We'll throw a party at the hospital, and after that, Geraint and I will be off to Germany for our honeymoon. That sounds fun. I'm so happy that we got married. I love you. I love you too. What the? Who are you? Why are you in my office without asking permission? Hello Owen, I'm Thomas Houghton, the main doctor of the Los Golem Central Hospital. I'm only here in this office just to let you know that, as long as you don't get over your aggressive ways, I will be the acting CEO of the Heart Center Hospital. I'm sorry I have to do this, but it's for your own good.